five tack. And at the time, I, like I told you, I liked the flashlight. And still, to this day, it's not a bad flashlight. But, there's always a but involved. There is something I'm not a fan of. I don't know, see my camera, zoom in on this. The button, it's open on both sides here. I don't know if you can see that with the lighting. And it's actually very easy when it's in your pocket for the pocket to actually push it and hold it down. Now this being a thousand lumen light, it does have a little hot symbol on here. It gets very hot. And on two occasions I've actually had to get so hot that it left a red mark on my leg. And at that point I decided to quit carrying it and I went back to uh, Protac 2L. Now, if you remember in the video my old one had a lot of wear on it. It was missing most of anodizing. I've been carrying it for a little bit over three years according to the date on it. Well, I started carrying it and I broke it. Completely my fault. I sent it back to Streamlight and they sent me a brand new light. Um, had a minor issue with this one. I had the same thing with my old one. I had removed the, end, the bezel cap, cleaned it up a little bit, and then put it back together, and now it works 100%. Size-wise, like I told you in the previous video, there's a lot, sm the Protag 2L is fairly small in comparison, smaller in the bezel area, and it really does fit pocket carry a lot better than the PD-35. Now, I'm not upset with the PD-35. I'm not getting rid of it. It's actually going to be relegated to a rifle light, simply due to the fact that it does have the multiple modes. I've got the red end cap for it. I've got the tail switch on order to have a tape type switch instead of the push button. And the thousand lumens on a rifle is very, very nice to have. So, it's getting relegated to that duty. The Protag 2L at 260 lumens is going to stay pocket carry and have the best of both worlds. Just before I give you an update, once again, Howley, stay safe.